These problems look a little intimidating, not going to lie. These are actually pretty easy once you get into them. All right, well, they're giving us the equation that they want us to use, this one. The exponential equation a equals 108.3 e to the funky exponent describes the population of a particular country in millions t years after 2015. When will the population of the country be 150 million? Well, it's a when question. That means we're looking for time, which means t is the variable that we are attempting to find. A, that's going to be the answer. So we want to know how long is it going to take to get to 150 million. And the formula is 108.3 E 0 0.012. I'm going to make that T a different color so it sticks out a bit. We are solving for T. Well, this 108.3 is being multiplied times the E. You want to divide both sides by that. 1385 equals e 0.012t. All right, now to solve for an exponential equation, if we're going to do the natural log on both sides because we have an e here. So the natural log of 1.385 equals the natural log of e to that really funky exponent. The exponent comes down. Natural log 1.385 equals 0.012t times the natural log of e, which we know is 1, so I'm just going to leave that off. Now to solve for t, one more step. We're going to divide by 0.012 on both sides. You grab your calculator and do it. 27.147. All right, so it's approximately 27 years after the year 2015. So you have to add those together. 2015 plus approximately 27 years, the year 2042, when this population population will be at 150 million. Ooh, archaeology! An ancient artifact contained 25% of the original carbon-14. Estimate the age of the artifact. The decay model, A equals A sub 0, E to the crazy exponent, describes the amount of carbon-14 present after t years. Again, it looks very intimidating, but you're really just going to set up this exponential equation and then solve it using natural log. The hardest part of this is trying to figure out what is this? Like, what is the answer? Again, you have this thing you found, and we know that the carbon-14 kind of decays over time, so they figure out how much is decayed, and that'll tell you how old the thing is. We know we have 25% of the original carbon. That's what that's our clue. Your 25% of the original carbon-14. A sub zero is the original. If you have 25% of that, you have 0.25 A sub zero. That's what you want the answer to be. We're going to solve for t, which is the time it took to get to that. So that equals a sub 0, e to the negative 0.00021t. You can see that the next move here is to divide both sides by a sub 0 because that just gets rid of one of the terms that's on both sides. So that'll cancel and that'll cancel. So we now have 0.25e to the really crazy exponent. Natural log on both sides. Now that exponent will come down. The natural log of e is 1. I'm going to leave that off because of my space here. Now to solve for t, we're going to divide by this really awful number, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1. I'm having math drama. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to cancel. Yay, that was pretty satisfying. And you're going to grab a calculator and you're going to punch in the natural log of 0.25 and you're going to divide it by that really awful number. The solution was that t is negative 11,456 0.98. All right, so this thing we found, you come up with a story. It's a little thing you found in your backyard, but it's 11,457 years old. Cool, huh? You learned how to solve exponential equations in, in a video that I have linked before. If you missed it, go ahead and grab that one now. It's right here, but then the next one is going to be how to solve logarithmic equations.